Good afternoon and welcome to Daggerway Nature Center's Animal Feeding. We're going to be feeding the opossum momentarily, just letting uh, some time go by for everybody to join us for the 315 Wild Opossum Feeding. Thank you for joining us early for the Daggering Nature Center opossum feeding. We're just waiting till 3.15 to get started and let some people join us. We'll be starting the Daggery Nature Center opossum feeding momentarily, live streaming from Facebook today, straight from Daggery Nature Center. So stick with us and we'll wait a little bit till everybody's able to join us and start right at 3.15. Let us know if you hear my voice. If you uh, do, go ahead and uh, put in some comments to let us know that you hear the sound and it's A-OK. -okay. It's coming across clearly. Muffins is getting excited for his daily feeding here at Daggerwing Nature Center. We're going to be starting his feeding presentation at 3.15 in just a few moments. Daggering Nature Center's Opossum Feeding. We are streaming live on, from Facebook today, straight into your living room or your home. Uh, due to the coronavirus, our building, our Nature Center, is closed today, but we are excited to extend our educational value to you uh, straight into your home, right here from Daggering Nature Center. So I'll be talking a little bit about um, our opossum, and then we'll be feeding our opossum uh, here today. His name is Mr. Muffins. And uh, he is one awesome opossum. He is uh, actually a uh, marsupial. A lot of people think uh, opossums look like large rats or large rodents, but indeed they are not. They are marsupials, which are more closely related to kangaroos, koalas, a lot of those animals that come from Australia. But the Virginia opossum is actually the only North American marsupial, which makes them super special here in uh, Florida. Now, they do have a very wide range here in Florida, so I'm going to get you this range map to show you exactly how wide that range is. This is a map of the United States, and you can see right here in Florida, all the green areas are where you can find opossums. They are quite common here in Florida, all the way up into New England and also west into the Midwest. 
And then over here on the west coast of the United States, even down into Mexico and Central America. So they have a pretty wide range, and again, they are a common species, but they are uh, also nocturnal. So nocturnal, for those that aren't familiar, means that they're able to uh, be more active at night. They're more resting and sleeping during the day. Mr. Muffins is excited because we're going to be feeding him today. He's used to a more diurnal schedule because he is uh, around people during the day as one of our awesome animal ambassadors. And we're going to be feeding him a variety of food, and that's because he's uh, omnivore. Omnivores eat all kinds of things, including vegetables and fruits, all that plant matter, as well as other living creatures, like little animals, insects, frogs, lizards, eggs. Whatever they can find, they will pretty much eat. They are scavengers, so they are going to be using their sense of smell to help them find that food. So let's take a look at what he's going to be eating today. So maybe if you can zoom in right here, we got some yummy cantaloupe pieces, some fruits, he's also got some banana slices. He's gonna be getting some vegetables like radishes today, as well as leafy greens. He's got plenty of lettuce in here. And then for his protein, remember we said he's an omnivore, so he does eat both plants and animals. So for his protein today, we have a little mice these are little frozen baby mice that he's going to be eating. These are one of his favorites. On other days, he would be getting worms or uh, cat food, um, different types of protein to help balance out his diet. So we're going to be giving him this diet today in a bag. It's an animal enrichment that we like to do here to keep our animals stimulated, both mentally and physically. So we're going to be putting this right into this paper bag. And we're gonna see how he gets it out of there. And figures out that little food puzzle. I think he's ready. sense of smell to help him <laughs> smell the food in the bag even though he can't see it. And this is an excellent way to demonstrate how wonderful their sense of smell is. Again, being nocturnal, they're going to rely more on their sense of smell to find their food, scavenging, scavenging in the dark. And they're also going to use their large whiskers to help them feel around for any little critters that they might like to eat and make a meal of. So he's going to uh, get that bag open using his teeth, using his mouth. He smells the food in there, and he wants it. Now, opossums are uh, nocturnal, like we talked about. So they're going to be active at night using their adaptations for the darkness. But they're also really good at climbing trees. An animal that likes to live up on the trees is called arboreal. You may have heard of Arbor Day referring to the day where you go plant trees in your yard or in a park, well, these animals are considered arboreal, which means they're tree dwelling. So they like to climb in the trees. They also have great adaptations to help them to climb, one of which is little, <laughs> you got some banana there. That's one of his favorite fruits, but they do have uh, adaptations to help them climb. One thing that they have are little opposable thumbs. So this is a picture of an opossum's hind foot and you can see that little opposable thumb there so that's going to help them to grab or grasp the tree branches as they're climbing and they also have a wonderful tail that helps them keep balance and it's semi prehensile which means it's able to grab or grasp just like a monkey's tail or a snake's tail. Oh he's got his oh he's got a big piece of cantaloupe there. He's got to figure out how to chew off little pieces to swallow it. You can see they have lots of teeth in there, both sharp teeth like those canines for eating meat or little animals, and also some uh, less sharp teeth in the back for grinding up the smaller plant matter. So they got those adaptations for climbing, the, the posable thumbs on their hind feet. You can see how he uses his front feet and his fingers to help him grab that piece of cantaloupe. He's also going to use that to help him climb very easily in the trees.
And here is a picture of a wild opossum climbing in the trees using his feet, his toes, his opposable thumb to help him hold on to those branches. So in the wild, they do have lots of predators. Um, their natural wild predators would be a fox or a mountain lion like a Florida panther, maybe a bobcat or a bird of prey like an owl. So they do have to uh, protect themselves. And one of the ways that they do that is a natural defense called playing possum. So if they get really scared, they can actually um, go into a coma-like state where they're involuntarily unconscious. Um, it is due to extreme stress, so they would be getting um, maybe threatened by a predator and they would actually uh, reduce their breathing and their heart rate and go limp, almost as if they were dead. And that's where that expression playing possum comes from because that's one of their natural defenses to help protect them. Most predators aren't gonna go up to an animal and eat it if it's not moving before they even uh, get to it. So uh, it does startle the predators. They can often emit a foul smell that would make them even more realistic as being dead um, and solidify that illusion that they aren't living anymore and make that predator hopefully walk away. We have a question from our viewers. Oh, we have some questions. So we'll go ahead and take some questions. All right, one of our questions is, why are you not using a box to feed muffins anymore? Why are we using a bag? Great question. Well, on different days, we actually use different um, enrichment items. Some days we do use a box or like in this case today, we're using a paper bag to uh, feed him his food. So he has to work a little bit harder to get that food out and figure out how to get it. But other times we're gonna use different types of enrichments. Since they do have an excellent sense of smell, we use scent enrichment. Sometimes we'll spray a pine cone with some cologne or perfume and that gives him something stimulating to smell during the day. We might also uh, take him out, have him walk around in the classroom as a nice little uh, way to get him some exercise as well. So he has lots of different types of enrichments and today it just happens to be that brown paper bag. So some of you might be wondering what his story is and Mr. Muffins um, was originally an orphan so he was found inside of uh, his mother's pouch who was hit by a car. So he was found in his mother who was picked up on the side of the road and thankfully rescued and brought to Bush Wildlife Sanctuary, which is up in Jupiter, Florida. And they were able to save the little babies inside of the mother's pouch. So he had about six brothers and sisters and they were all hand reared by wildlife rehabilitators. So they were able to survive. However, Mr. Muffins was very much in love with his caretaker and was pretty much uh, considering, uh, he's got a very big piece of candle <laughs> there. He was very much um, uh, in love with his caretaker to the point where he was uh, dependent upon humans for care. So he was deemed non-releasable uh, into the wild, whereas his brothers and sisters were able to be released into the wild. But he uh, luckily was able to find a home here at Daggerwing Nature Center, and we are so happy that he became part of our animal collection and one of our educational animals to help teach about his wild cousins. We have another question. Um, what would uh, Mr. Muffin's favorite food be, maybe specifically fruit? What's his favorite fruit? Oh, for fruits, he does like all kinds of fruits. One of his favorites is strawberries. He also likes the bananas, which you saw him eat. Obviously, he's ch chewing on some cantaloupe right now. Um, all kinds of berries he likes to eat. And apples is also one of his favorites. I don't know if uh, Mr. Muffin's is that picky um, when it comes to fruits he pretty much likes them all <laughs> great questions so one one other thing is that you guys um, if you enjoy mr. muffins you can certainly sponsor mr. muffins through our friends of daggerwing nature center uh, sponsorship so he is available for sponsorship along with all of our other animals and you can visit our website at www.pbcnature.com Click on the Daggerwing link and you'll find the information on animal sponsorship for Mr. Muffins and our other animals. 
Do we have time for one more question? I think we have time for one more question. If you guys have them, go ahead and write in the comments section. Oh, yes. So what is their uh, lifespan? How long do uh, possums generally live for? Great question. The question is, how long is their lifespan and how long do they usually live for? Well, surprisingly, Virginia possums are one of the shortest lived mammals for their size. And in the wild, they may live upwards of two years. In captivity, they can live a little bit longer, and that's upwards of about three to four years at the maximum. So they are very short-lived animals, uh, particularly for being a mammal of their size. How old is muffins? And muffins is a year old this month. We actually got muffins from Bush Wildlife Sanctuary in July of 2019. Um, but he was approximately born in March of 2019, which makes him about one year old. So he's uh, about midlife, almost midlife right now, believe it or not, at one, the ripe old age of one. Well, I want to thank everybody for joining us for the animal feeding here at Dagger Wing and Nature Center. Uh, for more information, you can certainly stay tuned to our Facebook page and like it. Uh, follow us and visit our website, again, www.pbcnature.com, and click on the Daggering Nature Center link. We certainly appreciate it for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you so much, and until then, have a wild time and keep exploring nature. <laughs>